Why, why are you showing me? Drip, dog. No drip. So are you cold right now? Uh, it's gonna get warmer, so I didn't wear a jacket, but I wore long sleeves, so. Looks like you dressed up. What's the occasion? We have a business meeting, a very important business meeting. Are we, but we're not at the York Gallery, uh, York Gallery Mall. Now we had a different mall because this is this. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. I wish I knew how to zoom in, but we are at, we're at White Marsh Mall right now. And we are heading in to check out some spaces. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm sure you guys are too, because you guys have been waiting for this. I, I know they're excited, but we got to go, because we got a minute. <laughs> oh, is, what time is it? 11.59, the oh, meeting geez. is at 12. He just showed up, by the way. I've been here for a half hour. I went and shopped, bought some shirts. But as always, Mr. 2.0 shows up. Uh, he has to make a grand entrance, so. With that being said, guys, stay tuned for more stuff. Um, we're heading inside. We're gonna go check out the properties and uh, we'll let you guys see which ones we're gonna look at. Stay tuned. Okay. All right, guys, so we're at the first space. Um, it's a, used to be a hair salon. Are you getting your hair done right now? Yeah, I'm waiting for you, because you know you gotta. I'm like Videl Sassoon, so. You gotta put this cream in it. Um, so yeah. <sighs> We'll have to talk to mall management in regards to it to see what happens and uh hopefully they can give us some insight on what we can do it's like weirdly really shaped for what we do it is know? really shaped but i think we can manage like how we want to do our cleaning services as well as have like a section for street where maybe get like a fitting room the only thing that makes sense is if we block this up so we can have a back room so the store yeah be yeah that's a good point so i mean they can come check out right here we'll just have to caddy corner this a different way but uh, tell us what you guys think about this first location. Um, um, from what we were told, they left their stuff behind and just kind of just said, see you guys later. So Got some creams. <laughs> I wonder if this stuff is still good. Uh, well, the chair works. I like the chair. Sheesh. So right, what do you well, think? What do you think about the first base overall? Like, do you like it? I like it, but like- It's going to take a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of labor into it, I agree. So, comment down below, guys. Tell us what you think about the first location. Obviously, it's going to be a lot of work, but we'll see what we can do. I like this. Yeah. Put that, like, maybe in the window or something. I like those windows. Yeah, I like the windows, just everything. The shoes facing that way on the Yeah, way I agree. All right. So, we're going to talk to mall management, and then we'll uh, get you through to the next location. So, stay tuned. Well, this is what the footage is for, is we're taking footage. All right, guys, we're at the second location. It's more of a rectangular shape, more of that sneaker store style. But it's going to take a lot of work because if you look at the floors, it's dust Dusty. everywhere. It's like, you know how I feel about dust. <laughs> I sweep the floors multiple times a day. Uh, I don't know if it's red thing. It's like steps. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just fall through the thing? I couldn't get it. Uh, Yeah, good thing we didn't get that. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, I'm thinking like shoes can go on each side and then this middle, this middle, uh, we'll probably do, I don't know what we'll do with this middle. Part. Yeah, I think this is better for us. Yeah, shape wise. They did say this is the one that's moving ready, so, I mean, it goes all the way back as you guys can see. But I do like how the York floors look versus this yeah, one. Yeah, these floors are a tad bit outdated, but yeah. older to me. Yeah. Well, these, I think, pull out. Well, these are metal. So this used to be an old GNC. Did we mention that? Uh, yeah. Oh, honestly, you know what I'm thinking? If we, uh, hypothetical, stop it right here, make that explore, and then this will be a back room because we got shelves. Yeah. And if we need to expand, we'll just use that, depending on how it works. That's what I'm thinking, too. And we can sell this on Craigslist. If anybody needs a cooler, we're going to sell it on Craigslist. So... But uh, yeah, this is a little bit more of a our vibe. Oh, they got the Uline stuff here. The bubble wrap and this paper. Remember we were talking about this paper the other day? I'm just excited about the counter. So like, you're not excited about the other be, jazz? Nah, because like mm -hmm. the counter, like it'll be easy to film. And yeah. A lot of people shop, it'll be far enough. And then we can put everything we currently like buy right back there. Right. So yeah. All right. This is space number two. 
tell us what you guys think down below. Obviously, we want to hear you guys' opinion. I mean, obviously, we already know we're leaning towards spot two. It makes the most sense. Just needs a little sneaker tech love, aka men's health. Yeah. So let's talk to more management and uh, stay tuned for more stuff, guys. So as you guys just saw, we went and visited two properties. Um, they're both interesting. Looks like they need a little work, but. A little? You trying to be nice. It's going to take a lot of work, but it's for, it's for a good cause, right? Yes, sir. We're uh, becoming moguls and expanding the empire, if that makes sense. I got it. So, which, which property did you like more? Which store? Yeah. The second one, because it's shaped correctly. It's shaped like a sneaker store. That's true. First one is like, okay, well, do I want to put shoes here? Wait, do we just want to open a barbershop? Do we like what do we want to do? <laughs> so, yeah, I like. Well, the you know the one. engine runs up here, so I'm always trying to expand the the brand and see what else we can do and get into. I mean, people think I'm lazy, so I like the second one because it's going to take less work to do. <laughs> and then uh, he's actually not lazy. If anybody's lazy, it's David. Dave's not lazy. <laughs> Dave's definitely not lazy. No, we all put in our efforts and we play our roles, so that's what's most important so well guys i'm going back to the store in york pa he's going to go loop they don't need to know that looks like he's going on a date i'm married i don't know so stay tuned guys um pretty excited obviously we'll get you through this journey just like we did the last journey and uh comment down below which one do you guys like more obviously it's probably a no-brainer for the second location uh, or the second spot for the second location. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're back at the shop after going to check out our potential new location. And uh, Melissa was holding it down. How was it? Okay. Did you sell anything? Yes. What did you sell? So three pair Ooh. and two Pokemon sets. Okay. Okay. She sold some. Grace, gray 11s. I sold some red dunks. You mean these red dunks right here? Yes. She sold those. And some Jordans. Some Jordan 9s. She didn't know none of the numbers. It was really cute. <laughs> I kept getting phone calls every five minutes. But it's okay. This is what we gotta do. It's grind hard, pays off. He said rainbow Pokemon. Yeah, you see the missing spots. So, uh, but back in the shop after going to check out one. So stay tuned for more stuff, guys. We are, we went and looked at the second location and uh, I think that that's the place we're gonna choose for the second location, so. Is it still gonna be in New York? Or no, it's in Maryland. It's in White Marsh, Maryland, so. Uh, yeah. is, it, is there any competition there? Uh, there's some stores in like Baltimore City and like Towson Mall, but I mean, everybody does stuff differently, so you know how that goes. Yeah, I never been down there for shopping. I never even put, like, you know, for the apps and stuff. I never right. even put down there. I don't put for that. I mean, I do for Towson, because they all don't get everything. But other than that, yeah. So you're just looking to sell both of them? Yeah. And we say, what, 300 for this one? And... I actually like these. I do, too. I, I mean, <laughs> I've had a 10 and a half. I need an 11. Yeah, so I like size. these. I, I just, you know, black... Colorways don't go for as much mm -hmm. for some reason, right? But I yeah, don't know. I just they're clean and they'll last forever if you wear them. Yeah, I like them too. So, so we said three and then 150, right? All right, let me go grab the cash at the back for you. How's it? Yeah, the glove. Yeah, he ain't buying right now. Oh, he ain't buying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Start credit. So. Well, I appreciate you coming through. Yeah, sure. You have the information of sneakers that you need to. Okay, no problem. You said 380, right? Yep. Okay. Just one minute. Let me go grab the cash out the back for you and uh, get you squared back. 
20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for stopping in. How's things going for you? Good, good. How about you? Good, man. Can't complain. Just went and looked at our uh, second location today. So I'm a Baltimore guy. Whoa, if you're from Baltimore, we'll be down there soon. Yeah? Yeah, trying to get in the White Marsh Mall. Okay. Cool. So, you just getting rid of some of your doubles or just stuff you need to wear? Just getting rid of some of, uh, yeah, just have them worn, you know? I do have doubles in Concord. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> do you have like more stuff that you didn't send me a list of yet or? Yeah, but I mean, I got a lot of phones. Some gotcha. phones don't do good. Let's have a couple pairs of dunks. Yeah, the dumps are hit or miss for us. I think unless we get into um, Baltimore, maybe. Yeah, you know, it's a different demographic. Yeah, but absolutely. I think phones will do good down there because that's where they originated from. Uh -oh. People. Yeah, lots of phones. <laughs> They're all DS'd. Well, that's good. First bag, bags. factory though I know. Yeah. Uh, Quality control has been really great lately. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I seen some um, lightning floors. The whole back of the shoe like they didn't even finish painting. So quantity, not quality. Yeah no. These have been sitting for a while. Yeah good old oxidation. Yeah. Some people don't care about it. You know how that goes. Some it's people nice do. Shoe. Yeah. Has a retro. When you sent me that, I was like, because I thought it was a reverse bird. They changed the names on them. Yeah. I know it used to be the tuxedo. Yeah. They look on stock X as the reverse concord. Yeah. The good ones right here. Well, the better ones, I should say. They're all good. <laughs> yeah, they're really cheap on the box on the breads. Yeah, I know. They're like, just throw a regular box <laughs> on it. It's like the third pair. We had a 12 coming the other day. I and I was watching the video on YouTube. And I was like, oh, somebody brought some Space Jam's in. Yeah. Some bread <laughs> yeah. So it's funny that now we're getting them again. Well, it's funny. We were talking lately, too. It was like, man, we really want older stuff because everybody that brings stuff in is all the new stuff. So we have an abundance of the new stuff. I was like, we need to get old stuff. Classics. Yeah. And then when you hit me up, I was like, I got to get this. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. always cracked up and stuff and break. Yeah, threw the into the box. Yeah, this way there's a lot. Of, this was a lot. That wasn't enough. <laughs> Did you see the cool gray 11s? I've seen them. I haven't. What kind of box do they come in? They come in a regular right. gray box. It's like a gray. It's like the old. Like the old one with the Jordan like, Jumpman on the middle. It's like this. Yeah, it's like this, but okay. it's all gray. Okay. So. We've had a few sizes. We'll have a 13 on release day. That's one, one, one pair I've never had. Okay. Well, we'll have a 13 if you want it on I had release day. I had, you know, all the other ones just never had the great day. Jeez. I remember I was going to work. I ended up being late to work because I forgot these come out. So I go upstairs. It was in the gallery in downtown Baltimore. I go up to the top, and there's a downtown locker room when you got to the top on the fourth floor. There's two, one person in the line, so I hopped in line, and I got a pair of these. Wow. I was like, it's back when you used to just be able to hop in line. Oh, yeah, stuff. absolutely. So, or actually just walk into the store. Right. There. Yeah, this was 2009. So yeah, yeah, was after the, yeah. So. All right, so we said 1600 for the five. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-four. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-five. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-six. So that's the six. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-three. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-four. 
20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 16 in total. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate you, man, for stopping in. I appreciate it. I'm glad we were able to make a deal. Send me another list of what else you got. Maybe we can see some of the composites. Maybe we can make a deal. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I got all the classic colors. Cool. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> so, I'm going to check the store out. Oh, cool. No problem, man. What's going on, guys? It's Hank here. It's the end of the day. You see, it was a pretty eventful day. Uh, went down there, checked out some locations for the second store. Hopefully, um, that works out. We're still kind of playing the field a little bit, but we just want to make sure that's our prime location first. Uh, came back to the store, we did a little buying, a little selling today. Uh, shout out to my wife for holding it down while I was gone. Uh, also, shout out to uh, my buddy Brandon. Uh, he sent in a nice little care package, made pairs, one being a personal. Pretty excited about that. A lot of mids, but he also sent some uh, some threes and some uh, sixes. So, shout out to him. And uh, yeah, so with that being said guys, Go, ahead, go follow, go like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, check us out on Instagram at sneaker.tech underscore. It's a pretty cool page. I always respond fairly quickly. Uh, if you have any inquiries, you can always DM or email us. The email is in the description down below. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything, but like I said, go check out uh, what well, you saw left in the previous footage of what the sword we're looking at. You know, let me know what you guys think, obviously. I think a lot of guy a lot of people are gonna lean towards the second location, which used to be an old GM, GNC, but you never know. I'd like to hear you guys' opinion. Uh, but that being said, God bless you guys. Stay tuned for more stuff.